Hey, hi, I'm back. Yeah, I know I was gone for a while. I'm really sorry. I've just been so busy working on the rebranding for Go Margo and like graduating. You know, no big deal, just graduating. If you guys have seen my thrift shopping in Singapore video, you'd know that this is due. This thrift haul, I've been promising, I've been teasing. This one is just for dresses. I'm gonna have another one coming up for outerwear and tops as well. I don't really get a lot of bottoms just because I'm a shorty. If this is the first time you're seeing my videos, hello, I'm Brenda. I'm so sorry you can't see my face as I talk because this is a voiceover but I hope we'll get acquainted in other videos. If you want to stick around, click that subscribe button and without further ado, let's jump in. Alright, this dress comes first for a reason. It is my absolute favourite find. I found this actually really recently. All of these finds are a collection of, I would say, two months of thrifting. The main attraction of this dress is pockets. Oh my god, I love it! Is that all so cute? And it's just such a weird and interesting print. Like, it's definitely something different. You don't see it in stores. If you see it in stores, it's probably like at Free People for like 300 bucks. It just looks so interesting. It reminds me of like a really chill butterfly. It hits me on the calves. It's a little bit of like that high-low asymmetrical hem going on, which is like very 5-10 years ago. But I dig it. It's like the perfect dress for a vacation. I love it. Okay, this next dress you might have actually seen at the thrift shopping video. I remember I got this at the Lucky Plaza Bazaar. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a pinafore. <laughs> It's a really fancy SCGS pinafore. <laughs> it just is so cute. It's like a picnic dress. It has like extra flaps on the side. You can sort of tie it. It's really thin. It's very cute. I do love the square neck and like the light blue baby blue little buttons. I love them. They're so cute. It's a little bit sheer and it's a little bit like low on the sides, you know. Just ignore my bra. Okay, let's just all just ignore it, but I'm probably gonna wear something underneath. It is super cute though, and super light, airy, breezy, and you know, you can see how happy I am. Okay, this next dress is something that I also really like. It might be one of my favourites. It looks really authentically vintage. Don't know about the straps because they're elastic, so it looks like someone's replaced them or they just sort of came like this, but I love the fit. I think it's very, very flattering on my body. I don't know, it looks like it's made for me. It's very feminine, it's very sweet. I know it may not be everyone's cup of tea because it may look old or lame or like just really old-fashioned to some people, but I personally really like the cut and I think it's just, you know, <laughs> just real pretty. Like I feel like a lady when I wear it. I don't know. I think it's the way it really fits on me and I think like it's a cotton material and it's still very durable and it's very airy and it's very comfortable. All right, wow, this next dress is very fancy. This is actually such a good find. I really don't know how I did it. It's so comfortable. It hits me right on the ankles, but I really love that like light ombre, that just little, little tiny bit of ombre like right at the bottom that makes it look almost like Ellie Saab a little bit. It's like a slight shimmer. It's like not glitter in your face party festival, but it's like, mm -hmm. It fits on me like a glove. Y'all see this? Like, this is, this is nice, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking at all this footage now and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> what a sexy neckline. Oh god, I love it. Next dress. Does this dress not look like I'm going for high raya? Like, I love the colour. It's definitely a different silhouette from what I'm used to. And this is what I was saying about thrifting. You can definitely, like, experiment with different silhouettes, different cuts, and different colours even to see what, you know, you might actually like. I love that the neckline isn't too low. I love that it does doesn't have any cleavage but I love that it sort of like skims my figure and it just looks so brilliant with the little baby embroidery. It's so nice. It does hit me underneath my knees and it has two slits at the side. I don't mind the length but I might get it altered. Actually nah, I kind of like it as is. I've always wanted a cheongsam and I think you'll see in this video that I tried my best to like look for nice cheongsams. This one is one that I saw and um, <laughs> for the first time in I want to say like one and a half months of thrifting, I found a cheongsam that actually fit me because a lot of the times cheongsams that are left in thrift stores, especially the really beautiful well-made ones, are just too small for consumption, okay? It's just like, yeah, I just look like a sausage and I don't appreciate that. So this was one that like barely fit me and I was like, yo, makes my ass look good, like okay. And I love the colour. It's this nice like mint satin and it has these black accents and like this floral embroidery is not too much. And then it has this weird like Dracula collar. Oh my god, I love, do you not dig it? 
It's a sexy dress. Like, it's really fancy. Also, if you can see in the background, I'm watching like Samantha Revendor. I think the problem with this, sometimes the collar may look a little bit uneven. So you do have to sort of like aga and like readjust every now and then. Not sure how I feel about the length at this point, And there is like a slight puckering because I think my ass just needs to lose a bit of weight. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna make do with it. I really, really like this dress. I think it's very unique and very well made. Okay, funny story with this next dress. Actually, my friend picked this out and she tried it and she was like, oh, looks quite cute actually, but it didn't fill up on the breasticles and it was also a little bit too long for her. So she was kind of looking at it and she was like, you know what, like, I think you might fit it better. Again, funny thing, not usually the style that I would go for, but I don't hate it. It gives a really, really nice silhouette on the waist. I don't know if you can see it that well from my clips and stuff, but it poofs out just a little bit past your waist. It reminds me of like Edwardian dresses, but obviously in a much more modern and like much more tapered way. I think the black sort of below the bust and then that like abstract print is really beautiful and graphic. It definitely needs ironing. I know that, says. Okay, I'm gonna do that soon. But yeah, I just really like this dress. I thought it was fun. And this is one that you can really like take it up a notch and like really dress it up or you can dress it down and make it look really cash this next dress one of my favorite finds i look at me and look at how happy i am wearing this dress this is a really really cool midi dress it's like this olive satin the way it skims over the body and the way it's still like sort of structured the material is quite stuffy and it's quite thick but it's just beautiful. I actually wore this for my graduation. You can't tell because my graduation robe is like something that's like zipped up so you can't see it at all but I was feeling myself in this girl. I was oh my god I love it so much. It's dainty, it's proper but it's something different and it's just very flattering and really beautiful and I was just so happy to find this dress. You have no idea. I'm just looking at it with love right now. Next dress. Haha, -ha, this is the second Cheong Sam. So, as I said, been looking for Cheong Sams. This one, I'm guessing, came from probably like an older lady, you know? Because she's got them curves, dude. I can't really even fill out those curves. I feel like she has like the perfect like 1950s body with like a small waist and like just. Mm, curves, curves all over the place. And I initially thought that, oh my god, this print is crazy. It's way too loud for me. I'm not gonna like it. But it has like this really nice like dark yellow slash olive piping. It has this one sort of like embellishment right on the top. And because it's so like gouache, you know, with like the yellow and the olive and the hints of pink, it just looks like a watercolor painting. From far away, it doesn't look crazy at all. And it just looks very refined and beautiful, but still bright. And it matched my hair. So I was like, dang. This is for me, I will take it, thank you very much. Now this dress, as I'm looking at it, I don't know if I regret it. It's like a Dutch milkmaid, but she went to Hot Topic and she turned like slightly goth, but she wants to like maintain her roots. It's a dark mahogany velvet with this like crazy geometric print. And then in the middle, there's a little pocket with these really ugly silver like things that don't sit nicely. So I might just cut it off. But it's cute, like it's this double strap thing. Um, I think it's just really fun and really different. Out of everything I've thrifted so far, I would look at this and be like, did I make the right decision? I don't know, but maybe y'all can tell me. I saved the best for last. I can't believe I found this suit, but I mean, whichever old lady was wearing this, she had a sense of style, cause I love it. This like blouse and skirt combination, First of all, it's very airy. It's done very well. It's a Takashimaya outfit. Like the brand is Takashimaya, which I didn't even know that they made clothes. I love the cut of the blouse. I think it looks very elegant. Even with the huge floral print, which I'm not a usual fan of, but I just, I dig it. I probably wouldn't wear these together just because I think it's overkill unless I'm deliberately trying to dress vintage or like a grandma. But I love the mother of pearls sort of sheen with the buttons. I love that the skirt hits me at my ankles. I just, 
it fit me really really well and it's just beautiful and that's the thing that i hope you all can take away from this if the clothes are not fitting exactly to what you would like or you know to your body and your measurements let it go because chances are someone else with better like more appropriate body proportions might be able to fit in it way better and appreciate it just way more and wear it and love it and take care of it so that's all i have for you today all these beautiful dresses and that one thrifting tip just kind of thrown in right at the end i hope you guys enjoy this if you want to see more don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i make new videos every week so don't forget to stay tuned click that bell notifications to turn them on so that you'll get a video every time i post and i will see you guys really soon with a part two and possibly more videos not possibly why did i say that have some faith in myself definitely definitely more videos i'll see y'all soon